In this video, I want to give you a new perspective that would change how you look at clothes and fashion forever. I've been doing a lot of research lately on fast fashion and sustainable brands when I had this epiphany. Why are we thinking about clothes and fashion interchangeably? Why are we not able to clearly distinguish what is fashion in our daily use of clothing to simplify our choices in how we dress? Instead, we have an abundance of items in our wardrobe, past trends, current trends, staples, oftentimes with the overwhelming, even crippling decision we need to make about what to wear and the need to shop for more. So I want to deep dive into the benefits and shortcomings of fashion and clothes. First thing I want to clearly define for the purpose of this video, what I mean by each of the two. I will simplify these terms to help get to my point. Clothing was invented to cover our bodies. Clothing provides shelter, protection, warmth, and dryness. It's soothing, gentle, soft, breathable, and cooling. Clothes are comfortable, practical, and useful against the elements. Now think back to caveman ages when we used animal fur to cover our back and not freeze in winter out in the woods or inside the caves. They have always been made out of organic, natural fabrics, which by definition are biodegradable. So if we take it from nature, it will decompose in nature. The purpose of clothing is to serve the person wearing it. Now, in my humble opinion, fashion has been invented as a visual stimulation. It is aesthetically pleasing and impractical at times. It is beautiful, it is provocative, its sole purpose is to make a statement. It creates a feeling of joy to the wearer when displaying fashionable items because of the reaction it will cause to others. Now, not to say one can't enjoy fashion in the privacy of our own home. Now, let's simplify it further for the sake of the argument. If fashion's only goal is to be pleasing to the eye, then the texture, quality material, the fabric, these are all components that the onlooker can't perceive or enjoy. You can't feel what I'm wearing, nor should you. If I'm wearing a glamorous but itchy gown, I could technically pretend it feels as good as it looks. The purpose of fashion is to serve the person watching it. Now, if we can agree on these two notions that I've described, clothing is made of natural natural fabrics and serves the wearer, and fashion is made of artificially created fabrics to serve the looker. Now let's see what's in between. The problem is that we don't have these two notions defined well in society or our minds. And if there's anything you get out of this video is perhaps to start distinguishing the two to make your daily decisions about your outfits easier. Are you dressing in fashion or in clothing? Are you shopping for fashion or clothing? Are you shopping for yourself to feel good or for others to see you in fashion. There's no wrong answer and you can choose both or alternate. When clothing and fashion mix is when confusion happens. Clothing is trying to be fashionable and fashion is trying to be wearable. This is why we see so many videos about minimalistic dressing, reducing closet size, the essentials, the capsule wardrobes, all made out of the mix of clothes and fashion. What these videos are trying to do is reduce fashion and filter out clothes, the real clothes. But now if you think about how different the two are, it can easily be understood. People have a preference to wear clothes or wear fashion. You don't need to trash one to get the other. You can choose both. But without understanding that they are different and we have both of them mixed in our closet, it's hard to separate them. This is when we get overwhelmed and watch videos on tips how to create a capsule wardrobe of 20 items when we have 200 items in our closet. You see, when fashion only cares about looking good, the materials used are secondary or even irrelevant to serve the main purpose of pleasing the eye. If we add to this a fast turnaround, then it's an ongoing rolling bandwidth of how fast can we create new designs, market them, make them, sell them, and dump them. Cycle
cycle restarts. So the shorter the cycle, the faster the turnaround. So it's now a rat race to beat the clock and churn out new trends and styles faster than the brand next door. Thank goodness there are only four seasons, otherwise we would have even more trends, which we sometimes have unfortunately. That's where fast fashion comes in with almost weekly releases. Now let's talk more about the shortcomings of both of these two industries from the consumer perspective. We already established that fast fashion is using inferior cheap materials if they can. Now the biggest improvement that fast fashion can make impacting the consumer, which is us, is to use better quality material and processes. Nothing new, right? No one wants their garments to fall apart after two washes or to shrink or to wash out the color. Now let's talk about clothes because they sound great, don't they? Organic fabrics, comfortable, practical, warm, cold, everything you want. Or are they? I've looked at countless green brands and you know what the problem is? They are not visually appealing. They don't look good, most of them, and this is a huge shortfall. I think plenty of us would pay a little more, perhaps shop less, but better if we got the same outcome. It's in our benefit to not treat shopping as a sport and enjoy our outfits for longer and wash better. Most of us make it an emotional connection with our clothes and I don't know about you, but I like mine. I want to keep them and don't like to get rid of them. Buy less and better. So why aren't we doing it? Why are we buying fast fashion and not real clothes? It's a very important question that I think green brands should really pay attention if they want us to buy more from them. I will make an analogy here with meat. Food companies have been looking for alternatives to meat, vegetarian, vegan alternatives for quite a while. And while they're close, it's not the same. Simulate the same effect of eating a burger patty and people will buy it, right? It's pretty hard to do. I think that by default, people want to do the right thing. People care about the planet, about being fair and choosing good over bad. We are not choosing clothes over fashion because it's not giving us the same feeling. And the shortcomings of clothes defined here, you know, the nice organic cotton, linen, tensile fabric, is that the styles don't look as good as they do in fashion. And now I myself don't know the limitations that natural fabrics have. Perhaps it is easier to tailor a more rigid fabric. Perhaps people prefer wrinkle-free materials and they are in higher demand. Because I can tell you from my own experience with clothes, the natural fabrics are very wrinkly. I don't mind steaming, but perhaps others do. We don't know what demand looks like. So the challenge that I see with the two mixing, fashion and clothing, is that we are consistently unhappy until we fix both as an industry. Fast fashion needs to become slow fashion, and clothing with quality fabrics need to step up their game and come out with a lot more stylish, wearable options. Who knows? Maybe Maybe one day fashion and clothing can reach such a close proximity to each other on a global scale that we will all wear only comfortable, stylish, and biodegradable outfits. In conclusion, think about the direction you want to take with your own wardrobe collection. Who are you dressing for? Yourself or others or both? And that should help you decide if quality and longevity is a priority for you over aesthetics and popularity. There's no wrong answer and we can absolutely combine it too. But perhaps now you have a bit more clarity when you look inside your closet and set the tone for any changes that you want to make and future purchases. Share down below what your thoughts are on this. Don't forget to like if you've enjoyed this topic, which lets me know. And if you appreciate green labels, I'm sharing best-selling spring dresses from sustainable brands coming up next. I will see you there.